Alright, so best of three, it is. Oh, let me switch to my scene real quick, sorry. There we go, so armor versus Alitalius. So, uh, give us the breakdown. What do you think uh, of armor's playstyle? So, armor has an incredibly good stance, and from what I experienced, it's very defensive. He pummels those corners nicely, and he'll just, like, for example, that he'll happily go for the straight shot rather than trying to go across the middle for that long uh, angle shot. So I'm pretty sure Alitolius is going to be on the back foot for a lot of this game uh, and really struggling to take a point off of Stanton other than just that situation there. So I think Armour will have this because he, he can mix between the defensive and the aggressive really nicely. For example, you saw him throw from pretty far up there. He's not afraid to, to get up and put his his face up there. Yeah. Uh, of course, Stanton does tend to usually be good at uh, that defense and he's shown he does have that offense like you've been saying but Ali seems like he has somewhat decent control over the deck so far nice uh, mid-court ward coming from him he did go for that over curve as well earlier and once again showing it not quite as effective there but with the juice he can still catch out any good player so, so but, I'm very happy to watch this game because Ali just got aced by the same serve I've been getting aced for constantly, and then he had to slide for the for the serve again. Yeah. If you watch, watch the serve, the serve's filthy, dude. Because then the moment you start like saving, he mixes it up. Because you've got to be moving preemptively to get it. It's that kind of serve. Yeah. And it's so easy to mix up. It's a it's a tough one to be sure. Easy ten points most of the time, or at least the juice advantage that you were talking about, where you end up forcing your opponent to slide on serve, and then suddenly you're like miles ahead on juice. Yeah, so 41 points to 38 already in favor of Arma. So we're at jam point right now, and the stuff coming out from Arma did secure the first set. So your prediction looking good so far, Arma looking pretty good. But uh, Ali Tayo's kind of kept it close, so he's showing he's not really any pushover at the least. Yeah, it's definitely not a 100% guaranteed win for Arma here. In fact, he's been showing quite a few, like, he's been slipping up a lot with mistakes. A lot of these curvy shots he's been sliding too early for and picking the wrong uh, direction. And just, again, missing shots like that isn't exactly what you're hoping to see from a player that you lauded as being a very defensively capable player. But uh, other than that, he has been pretty much on point in this game. Yeah, both players are losing their juice right now. Arma pushes up the net to try and force a slide, but only able to, so Ali Talia is building up that perfect and gets the score from the wall right, so 27 points to zero up already, but Ali Talia is forced to slide, goes for the drop shot, and Ali, or Arma just imagine to keep himself in the game so far, so both players just being forced around the court right now, and the over curve once again, like I said earlier, he seems to have that uh, nice control over max curves, able to trick Arma into going the wrong direction with that over curve, so that's something to watch out for Ali Talios, uh, if he fakes out that over curve, but 41 points in 9 so far, after losing the first set of course, looking to take the second one quite comfortably, but Arma won't be going down so easily. Yeah, Arma is starting to come back, he was at 0 just before this, there was the risk of being completely shut out, and again, there's a case of him just kind of committing to a direction and then having to slide backwards, Stanton slide is good. But it's not that good, you can't just kind of use it willy nilly. He did a miss position pretty poorly there. And again, another case, you were talking about these curves and kind of faking them out. He keeps moving the wrong way and then being forced to slide backwards. Yeah. Uh, so he's yeah. really struggling to kind of position properly against this mechanic. Does manage to drop the juice though, but isn't able to get to that wall ride. Yeah, so. And that disgusting serve again. So yeah, uh, we did see the drop shot come out from uh, Armour, which is not something you usually see from Stanton, so he, he isn't really afraid to try and mix things up, try and change things you wouldn't normally see from a Stanton, but he is behind in this rally and he does end up losing it, so Ali Tao is managing to take the second set and already in this third set and looking strong, being 30 points up to zero, so... Yeah, Alitalius' uh, shot choice here is really good. When he gets the advantage, the moment he makes uh, armor slide for the first time, he does not let go of this advantage. He just <laughs> he just keeps juicing over and over again, keeps putting the shots in a place where Stanton's forced to slide. And uh, despite Stan's pretty, I guess, base high throw power, he's uh, able to keep juicing off of those and just eventually win it out. Yeah, I think Arma, like you said, he he was able to hit those corner shots against you, so I think it's he's gonna have to pull that out, try and go for those corner shots to force Ali Talos into sliding, so managing to slowly bring it back, he is up to 26 points now, so still in this set so far, but 
and once again he does find the push this time so only 8 points behind the armor now he just has to try and keep aiming for those corners and we'll see if he can manage to do it and it looks like there's a little bit of an inexperience here coming down to uh, like how good his slides are and how fast he can move after. He has gone for long slides against these short lobs uh, each time and been forced to throw a blue off of them. And both times he could have gone for a quick short uh, short slide and then been able to perfect off of it. It hasn't impacted him too much, but it would be nice getting those perfects from the net and closing out the points quickly. Ooh. And there's another case of the misdirected slide picking the wrong side. Game one going to be going over to Ali here. Armor, um, unfortunately, every now and again, just kind of slides the wrong way and lets the uh, disco soar on past him. And that was a point where you really didn't want to get scored on. Yeah, reacting a bit too fast, Ali Tyus ends up 60 points ahead in the first game. So, actually, quite convincing just by looking at the score. So, of course, Armor did take the first set, but ever since, Ali Tyus has been looking pretty strong. And, like I said, he's, he's just keeping his juice. Armor isn't really forcing. Uh, the slides out of, out of Valley Towers and I think maybe Arm is struggling a bit at the moment because of course Stanton did just recently get his slide nerfed so perhaps uh, Arm is still adjusting to that. Um, I'm but... playing very far up just then but isn't uh, all of his shots are kind of similar to how his subs are they start off pretty far in the middle and then start going towards the corner yeah uh, rather than just hitting the corner straight away so throwing from that far up is kind of uh, I guess cancelled out by the fact he's throwing those kind of shots. Alitalios is able to just stay on the backline safely and just keep on juicing. And I then like sneakily get it past him with some mechanic curves or war rides. So he definitely needs to think a bit more about his shot placement when he's further up. And that's always something you've got to think about. Despite being able to throw from the net when you get short lob, not every shot is a guaranteed score. You've really got to look at your opponent's position in, like in relation to where yours is and figure out from that position which place the disc is going to get to first. Because if you throw it straight, it will get to the end zone miles before you throw it diagonally. And there's an example of it. Because of where uh, Ali was, if it was going to be a corner shot, he'd have to start running there soon. So he'd already start preemptively going for it, uh, which means Armour could punish him with a really fast, hard to respond to shot straight down the uh, straight down the court. Yeah, and Ali Tau is just punishing the Armour once again, looking to take the first set in the second game as well. And Armour just... Yeah, chill, slide again. chill, take your time, relax. He's, like you said, just sliding way too soon. He just needs to take his time and wait until he definitely knows. Oh. He's not listening to this. Come on, man. <laughs> Turn the stream on, Alma, come on. Yeah. I think this is just kind of a, I guess a case of nerves. The slides are coming out way too early. Yeah. It's just, and again, we see that straight throw from the net that I was talking about just pretty much better in every single way. Yeah, just that trigger uh, finger, just being a bit too trigger happy right now, just constantly pressing slide. He, Stanton, of course, does have a good slide, but you gotta use it properly. Yeah, and I think, um, oh, I had a point to make here, but I've completely forgotten now. Oh, yeah, so Armour, unfortunately, he is winning points, but every point he wins is like a 6 or a 7. He's winning them very early on in the rallies. He's struggling when the rallies go on longer and longer and he has to deal with that faster and faster movement speed. For example, that one got up to 16 there. He's able to close out when the disc speed is nice and slow, but even when it gets faster, he's struggling a bit against McKenna. And it goes for, I assume that was meant to be like a double tap on slide, which ended up being a lob. Yeah. A really nice war ride coming out from Ali. He's going to bring up to 44. He only needs six more points here. And uh, that will be game two going in his favor, which means he'll be going on to play Drakov's Kinder. Armour up at the net goes for another quick kind of straight oh. corner shot and unfortunately reads the disc wrong, misses the slide, misses the positioning. That's going to be 54 to 17 for Ali. That is game two in the bag and we'll be moving on to the Jackovs versus Ali match after this. Yeah, so Armour not able to pull it out like you thought he might have. I think he, he seemed tilted for sure, would you?